Michael Slager has entered a guilty plea to count one of the federal indictment. He has admitted in open court to using excessive force when he shot Walter Scott in the back five times as he ran from a car stop. He admitted to knowing that his force was objectively unreasonable. I can't imagine going through this as a prosecutor without a family like this family has been and without their support. They have been with us every step of the way. Uh, a lot of times when you weren't here, they were here. And it has been really amazing to work with them. And frankly, they have not gotten the credit they deserve for keeping the peace in Charleston and for having faith and respect in the criminal justice system. We would not be here with this conviction in our hands without this family. There's no question about it. This is not just a victory for my family. This is a victory for Charleston, North Charleston, South Carolina, the United States, and the world. We see that the unjust by unjust cops will not be tolerated anymore. We need police officers, but we need good police officers. We need those, those to stand behind the badge. We, that's what we need. We need the, the, the thing to be torn down. We need for them to respect us as people. And what we saw on that video was not being respected. My brother was violated. He was gunned down, running away. And, and this gentleman continued to stick through the story, stick to that story. But today, he told the truth. He said he did it. And that's our victory. And the healing starts today. For me, for my family, the healing starts today.